it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am back with another Stretch the Sketch. If this is your first time seeing this series, so the idea behind this series is that one of us finds a sketch that's usually a 12 by 12, and our job is to either shrink it down or blow it up. So this is the sketch that we are using, and it is a 12 by 12. So I am actually shrinking it down to an eight and a half by 11, and that's because that's the size I am doing for my Mexico trip. I have in the past done nine by 12, I've done a six by 12, I've done like a six by nine pocket page. I've stretched it out to a double page layout. So sketches are so versatile. And so there is a ton of YouTubers and all of their links are down below and they are amazing. So this is a great series with tons of inspiration. So originally when I saw this sketch, I knew number one, I was going to turn it on its side. But my first thought was to actually flip the, the uh, triangles to the outside so the points were facing in. But I didn't end up doing that. So I just cut down my background paper, and this is from Maggie Holmes Willow Lane. And then I took a piece of six by eight paper from the paper pad. It's either Willow Lane or Flourish. I can't really remember. It's from my um, How to Kill a Kit with Style. And I cut it in half on a diagonal because I didn't want it to be as symmetrical as it is in the sketch. So I knew I wanted to leave that gap in between that you see where it says title. And so I did have to trim them down a little bit more to give me that gap. After that, then I took it to my sewing machine. And you can kind of see in this sketch, it does look like there's some stitching down the center in between those triangles. So I did that line and then I went ahead and did the sides of the triangle, not the center piece, but the sides, just with some white thread. So I am going to use two pictures, like it calls for in the sketch. Um, they're not square. One, one is square, one's four by four, and the other one is three by four. And so this is gonna be the first page in our album. So it's the first time I have gone out of the country that I remember. So we got our passports. So I was super excited to be able to use it. Um, so I took a picture of that. It's just sitting on my lap while we're in the airport. And then we have a, a solid two hour drive to, the air, to an international airport from our house. So we had to leave super early in the morning and I really wanted my chai tea. And so the minute we got in the airport, I knew there was a Starbucks like way at the other end. And my husband's like, I'm sure they have something at this end of the airport. So um, they did. It was called Pete's. Um, and so I got my chai tea there and it was pretty good. So I did go ahead and keep the sleeve that was wrapped around my tea. And I think that creates a really cool element on the layout. So I kind of tucked the coffee cup picture in there and then put the passport picture on top. Because uh, of how thick that coffee sleeve is, I had to put two layers of fun foam behind the picture of the passport. And then I just backed both of the pictures with 
some tissue paper, black and white tissue paper, and did a doodly border around the whole layout. So I put you on pause, went to all of my embellishments and thickers to kind of try and decide what I wanted on this layout. I really wasn't sure where I was going with it. it the sketch isn't heavily embellished. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just kind of go through my stuff and see what I find. So the first thing I found was this super cute Maya Rhodes coffee um, paper clip thing. So then I kind of was like, okay, I'm going to go with the silver accents to it. So that's when I was like, I think it needs a bow. And I pulled um, a sticker sheet. And then um, when I pull, was pulling the silver bows, I found that cute little black bow to bring in some more black. And the reason I'm pulling some black is my suitcase is black, kind of checkered um, look to it. And then um, my title I decided to use as um, the using the sleeve as part of my title. So it says Pete's Coffee and then it says first and then I decided to pull in some wood veneer and I decided to do three pieces of wood veneer from this Hello Love Crepe Paper and so that kind of trickles down the page starting up in the left upper hand corner and oh I just realized I used a gold bow. Hmm. Interesting. Normally I probably would have grabbed the silver bow. No, it's silver. It's definitely silver. Um, but it looks gold on the video. So sorry about that, but it is silver. I, I thought it would be pretty strange for me to mix my metals like that because the, the top little clip says yes, which I really, really liked that it said yes, but the colors of the yes were, they just weren't any of the colors that were in. So I end up deciding on this black and white one and put the black and white bow up there. And I do love how that turns out. So I am just gluing everything down and that is going to be my layout. So I have some close-ups coming up and please, please, please check out everybody's take in the description box below and see what they took from this sketch and how they adapted it to whatever size other than 12 by 12 that they decided to do. And we do this every month. So I will see you next month with a different sketch. So remember to wear your crown. And we'll see you next time.